get ready for some shocking news. Ian Paisley. Ian Paisley is about to leave the yard. But not for the reason that you think. That's as far as he's going for the moment. And now it's time to move Harry. You may have figured out something exciting is about to happen. You don't have to figure it out, I can tell you. Something about... Oh yes, I can barely get my words out. Something exciting is about to happen. Now we can see that Eric's bonnet is open. And Eric hasn't moved from this spot for quite a while. Unfortunately, because I've sold the sunroof, it is going to be pretty wet in there. Oh, God, oh, oh dear, oh, poor Eric. Battery fitted. Oh, gosh, this is much worse than I thought. The trouble is there's no door seals, and the, the fix I did with the sunroof didn't really work, especially when you end up with a hole in it. Oh, that didn't go well. I'm absolutely, well, I'm drenched. It just all tipped out onto me. I think I need to do a better job of fixing that. The trouble is, you rush to do something, you rush to get the sunroof out, and you rush to try and mend it, and this is what happens. Gosh, it must be warm. Look how much I'm steaming. Or Zomberic. Now there's a chance I might have to move Windsor Davies as well. But other than that, besides some debris knocking around, the path is clear. For Susie Sunshine to go. I could possibly move these wheels though. Those boxes there. That trolley. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Probably just going to tug it up here anyway. The time is nearly two o'clock. Will the yard be blessed with Mr. Berry? Hmm. It always saddens me to see a car leave the yard. I get somewhat attached to it. And I just want to make sure that they go to a good home. Unfortunately, the same thing can't be said for this car. I'll be glad to see it go because um, it's immobile, it's taken up space and it's... I'll be just glad to see it go. That's, that's really it. It's just a matter of waiting now for that gate to be opened up and coming through will be an old Land Rover Discovery towing a trailer. <laughs> Ten to three. And now more space to organise because Allegro man has taken away some seats. Some seats, correct. Hmm. The time is now four o'clock and I am filled up with biscuits. And that's because Steve Berry always turns up with biscuits. Yes, good old Steve turned up. Unfortunately, the chap who was supposed to be taking the car away didn't. Oh shit, how long's that been going? Oh. I'm only going to have a couple more days now with my lovely tour up before it goes back on the storm. And I'm going to miss it. I can really feel that. developing of the, the tourist shaped hole won't be filled any longer I'll have to just drive something else I mean I will be driving Nigel that's for sure but this car 
looks just so special. You know, how much did I like this car when I first got it? Absolutely loads. And I've never, I've never used it that much, but all the time I just like it a little bit more. is here I'm here and uh, we're going to go for lunch and I'm going to make a video out of uh, whatever I can today Mary yes and the reason for that my Diplodocus friend. Is Do you say Diplodocus? A Diplodocus, yeah. I know some You don't go down the Diplodocus route? No. I'm determined that today I'm going to make a video out of you being here. Um, even if it is completely crap. That really would be, wouldn't it? So what often happens is I do bits of video with us having a conversation and you always say, you won't use that. Don't you? So you? You never put it in your video. I don't speak like that. <laughs> you do. If you didn't love the sound of your own voice, you'd know exactly what you sound like. You've got like. me sounding like a, <laughs> a Camp Bruce with size. <laughs> well, that's kind of what you are. I, I'm not a Camp Bruce. I'm not. I've got a dark brown voice. A dark, bra a dark brown voice? Yeah. I miss Bruce with size. Yeah. Do you miss him? Yeah. Right. Anyway, it is a cold, damp Monday. Look at that in front of Monday, us. That Monday, is kind of the... Monday day. Um, it's not particularly inspiring. Um, yeah, but then, talking about things that are inspiring, you could argue that this car inspired the one in front of us. Uh, yeah. One road as, as they were termed, but of course it wasn't. The Streetwise is itself a derivative of the Renault Megane. They had the idea first. And the yes, British, the scenic. <laughs> And the British set the, the scenic RX or whatever it's called. Mm. And we said to the French, you Frenchy, froggy, froggy, Frenchy. Ah, beefy, lovely, beefy, you Frenchy, froggy. And, uh, what? Hey? What are you on about, beefy, froggy, Frenchy? <laughs> <laughs> What's well, that mean? They call us Rospits, don't they? I'm going to... Ideal breakfast. Oh yeah. That there has been what? Uh, oh yes, it's the most handsome undergoing. Get rid of air wax. Have you ever had blocked ears? No. It must have been a documentary, otherwise um, why would they have asked me? Well he just falls out and now I'm trying to get it out. Why are you trying to get the button out? Well I was going to see if you knew how to fix it. Get the f*** off! And now, after lunch, sat in the cosy caravan. Cosy with its flickering light up there. Cosy because of its ever-present camera facing towards us. Cosy because outside the light is dropping and of course it's only a quarter to five